so the next uh, episode was the uh, Creighton's estate. Yep. Um, so this one started out you were having a dream again. I think it's about orcs. Yeah, uh, this time it was... Um, well, and all the while I've had an enchanted sword. Yeah. Since since Mark had... Since Mark's marked had, uh, Yeah, the marked one had touched my blade with some kind of frost magic. During the dragon sessions. Yeah, during the dragon sessions. And this was what I used to uh, to kill one of these smugglers. And um, and since then I, I had sort of just been overthrown with this, this new power that I had mm -hmm. never been mm -hmm. privy never to. Never thought about using... Magical um, things. Um, so, I had a dream about me just using the wand, um, and just every face I had run into, I was just destroying them mm. with this wand. It was just this green, oozy electricity, just destroying everyone I had ever yeah. known, everyone I had ever loved or hated, and they're just shooting off of this cliff. Yeah. And like I just had this ultimate power. Um, and then I remember jumping off and just falling down just with them with all these like corpses I just fell and then yeah. as soon as I hit the water I woke up and uh, from there uh, come on Pandora Pandora wants you to buy something I know um, so the uh, so from there uh, you woke up and then Creighton you have another meeting with Creighton and Creighton says I don't really have anything for you today um, but because I have other people on it His what I want you to do always distracted <laughs> what I want you to do is find marked because I haven't seen him in a while, and I want you to invite him, because you're invited as well, to yeah. my estate tonight, because I want to welcome you into the grasp. Mm -hmm. Formal, in like an informal way. I've got a couple of my friends coming. It'll be fun. Um, it'll be a ball. It'll be. What will I wear? <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, and that's what you had to do. Uh, of course, marked wasn't playing. Yeah, so in this I game. Uh, yeah, and so what happened was I went to kind of find him because I hadn't heard from him in such a long time since the dragon uh, mishap, shall we say? And um, I went up to his uh, observatory loft in the library where there's like a miss piece of missing staircase that mm -hmm. he he finds a way to climb up. So I usually just have to hop over it, shimmy on the wall, and then find my way up to it. Um, and he was gone, and everything was disheveled, and it, it it looked to me like it might have been that somebody had taken him, but it probably was just that he was in a hustle and bustle and trying mm -hmm. to look for things in, in a hurry, and, uh, and then I found a note. And I think it said, uh, my dearest friend Rokan, I am... Yeah. I am. I will be away for a while. Yeah, he I am thanked starting. me for helping him with the dragons, and then he w basically was yeah. just saying am, he's bouncing. I am personally getting in touch with my heritage mm -hmm. at the moment. I will be seeking out. Uh, I think it was I'll be seeking out my heritage and my family. Uh, but until we meet again, yeah, I think finding the uh, marked because he he's obviously he knows history and stuff like that. So he's known what's happened with like the orc culture in this world. They're slaves. Uh, orcs are, 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 are slaves and half orcs are like looked down upon and I think no they both are and, orcs and, and, yeah, and, and they can be slaves but I, yeah. I think uh, half orcs have a little bit more of a chance of at least becoming something and um, and now he's seeing that the same things are probably going to be happening to the dragons they're either mm -hmm. going to be some kind of slave or even extinct mm -hmm. exactly well they are actually the numbers are dwindling yeah um, they're in, they're on the endangered species list. Yes, they are. Um, so, so he bounced, and of course, I have uh, to cover this up because he's supposed to be on duty at all times. Yep. He's 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 one of the marked ones, which means he's an important person in the discovery and the use of magic. He is. Yeah, he's a pardoned sorcerer in the name of Rolfane, right. and uh, he's also part of the Grasp. So he is. On it's like when you have that. a computer hacker working for the feds. Pretty much, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so, and so you at this point you whip out the wand and start walk, looking. At, oh no, you burn the uh, the note. Yeah, the that wand. yeah, that's what it was. Um, or that's how I found it, I think. No, you or burned something. it, oh, and then okay. it floated I'm, into the air. Yeah, and right. at that moment, Adeltiln was tracking you, and mm. he climbed up. Yeah, into and it's, the, uh, yeah, it's, he was tracking me, and as soon as he sees me burning the. The parchment. He makes he funny. He calls me out. Yeah. yeah. He's like, "Oh, well, it looks like you use oh, magic as well." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, what? Who are yeah, you? <laughs> exactly. Uh, Who are you? 
Adeltilne's really cool because uh, it's my brother who plays Adeltilne. Uh, he's my twin. Uh, I'm going to get his bio and picture up on the website soon. But uh, he has been playing with me for years. And I've never seen... He plays really cool characters and uh, like really cool backstories and stuff. This one doesn't really have much of a backstory, yeah, he's but, he's got, a mystery, but it's still but a really cool character. He's more of a wild card, which mm -hmm. makes sense. And, and I thought when I created Rokan, I had thought I created him as a wild card. Yeah. And so it's like, <laughs> it's to see my character who, who makes split decisions not based on anything, yeah. but like then to see he, to like he does out, yeah, he yeah. outdoes me with yeah. my crazy plans. Exactly, it's like you, you, you think you have a crazy plan, but his yeah. yours makes sense. His, yeah, doesn't. yeah, I think I would say mine makes. Yeah, a lot and we'll see that actually a... in this in the next commentary. Yeah. Um, well, we we do see a glimmer in this episode, but uh, he, uh, so yeah, he's there, and. Uh, you guys both come up with the idea that maybe you can bring Adeltilm and he can pose as marked. Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of, uh, I, 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 I started um, searching for the uh, raiding the wardrobe mm -hmm. and just being like, here, wear this. I was like, hey, remember when you said you were gonna help me out? Wear this. Yeah, and he and, was like, uh, um, okay. <laughs> and then I found. Um, he, yeah, he didn't really ask questions. No, he, he was like, all right, great. Sure. Right, sure. <laughs> I got nothing to do today. Yeah, exactly. Um, You're like, so, how do you want to go to a dinner? And he's like, dinner? I love dinner. <laughs> he's like, I'm hungry. Yeah. So then he... Because um, he's pretty much homeless. So, so I'm trying to uh, find a way to like hide his identity or something cause, to make him become become the marked one and um, or a marked one. And uh, he... He goes, hurry up, hit me. And yeah, you start so beating before, him up. yeah, so before he could even finish the sentence, I just punched him in the face. Yeah, he's like, I got an idea, just hit, hit me. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I started hitting him, but it, it didn't work enough. It just looked like him, but yeah. bruised and battered. Swollen. So, I, it dawned on me, because he didn't, he didn't have any, like, charms or any... What's that uh, spell that you uh, use? It's kind of like a charm, and then you can mirror... Uh, uh, not, not mirror, disguise but, self. Yeah. Or there's other. There's another one. Charm. Um, I don't know. Yeah. But but, um, but he didn't have anything disguise like self. that. And uh, so instead, I just whipped out the wand, mm -hmm. and was just like, maybe this will help. Mm -hmm. And, and like, you started I, um, I, I festering just, his yeah. face, and then you then he was like, maybe I'll just wear this, and he had like a metal. Or yeah. like a, a metallic mask in his bag. Yeah, the whole time. And, and it, so he's like, I'll just wear this. <laughs> so they beat him up for no reason. Yeah. Uh, so he had all these like gross warts, and it, and it would have worked, so, like deformed yeah. face or whatever. So he slid it on. Still hid that just in case um, <laughs> if there was any torpy mask, and he just say that's yeah. what happened. Uh, and yeah, and then you guys went to Creighton's estate later that evening. Uh, the guard was voiced by Christopher Walken. Oh yeah, and he was like, "Hey, welcome. I, uh, uh, the rest of the guests are inside. Um, head on in, <laughs> intrude, and have fun." And then um, they're like, okay, thank you. And then you guys went in. It was a, uh, a big trophy room full of uh, people. There was a water basin in the corner, a pot or a um, table, a side table full of liquor and wine and spirits that way. Uh, and then there were some, uh, and then there was a couch and on that couch was Creighton in his small clothes, already drunk and tells you to go get some water for him. Yeah. I need water. He's like, I, I need you to get me some water. Oh, I'm a bit boy. drunk, and I don't want to get a hangover. Oh, no. no. So um, I did, um, and it was... Something weird about... Yeah, it was strange. It was like a, a blue tint, and it it really had no from fermentation a, a at all. It was yeah. like smooth, almost like silky smooth. Mm -hmm. It was weird. Uh, there was no bubbles. Uh, there, It came from yeah, a, a basin that refilled itself. Yeah. Um, instead of it having a drain, it would just fill itself. So to, to the normal there. eye, it would just look like lavish luxury. Was, yeah, was basically what it what it was. And that was uh, flag one from Rokan. Um, Rokan also met a couple other characters. Uh, a lady who was voiced by I don't remember who it was, but it was a barbarian voiced to someone. And then there was also Danward Davini. Well, yeah, I remember. Him. Who was yeah. a half a fat halfling who was. <laughs> voiced by Danny DeVito, so he was yeah. all, um, hey, uh, uh, he's just like, hey there, buddy, listen, are we gonna, and it, it, anyway, it was better at the time, um, but we did, uh, they met Dan or Davini, they met another, uh, character mm. as well over towards the dining room, which had an ice chest, or yeah. a chest that would refill itself with ice, um, and that was weird, um, yeah, and, something that cold, or, 
Yeah, and there was the the pipe that led that fed the ice into the chest mm. was hissing and whispering. It yeah. seemed. Yeah, that's that's where. We and found the piping out. went downstairs. It seemed as well. Uh, you guys, Adotiln, and you still um, Adotiln not saying much because he doesn't want. <laughs> yeah, to give away um, his... Creighton approached me like, "Oh, what happened to him? <laughs> what and, happened uh, to Mark?" And he, he was like, "Is that him?" And uh, I kind of had to be like, "Yeah, he." Uh, that's why he hasn't been around because uh, he was recovering from injuries from. And then I, I had to make up the the creature because I didn't yeah. tell him they were dragons. Yeah, that's true. Um, what it was um, that attacked him and it, it it bit him, and he had grown all these you know these grotesque deformities and he had mm-hmm. been recovering, and he was like, why isn't he saying anything? And I said, it. Uh, so these are all just bluff checks. Exactly, <laughs> and, and, uh, these are all great deceptions. <laughs> Uh, so I, I just I had to be like, well, it it, uh, it it also attacked his vocal cords, so he's trying to recover. If he says anything, you know, it's just gonna start it all over again. Exactly. So uh, he was trying not to um, speak, and they also found a half orc slave in the kitchen. Oh, and I told I told him, uh, whatever you do, don't you know, don't lose sight of me. Just just stay behind me. Just follow me. Yeah, and Adeltone was. On your heels the whole yeah, time, just like, walking awkwardly behind just me, just like <laughs> this close. And he's just like, okay, um, how am I doing? Oh, and uh, oh, before we got in, wasn't it funny that they were uh, they were asking for like identification, and um, of course we all have these pen- pendants, mm-hmm. right? And uh, I had mine, oh, yeah. and uh, and so he's like, oh, okay, that's or uh, the Hi. Christopher Walken, yeah. all right, <laughs> and cool. um, and I didn't have one for Mark, so I took out his like. His official magic papers that were like stamped yeah. by Rolf Thane, and I kind of was like, eh, he's got this too. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, uh, all right. Um, so, so yeah, then we met the half orc, and so Greg Fesh, who build was trust, I spoke orcish with him. That's true. And uh, speaking orc, he was, but right. in his orcish, he sounded like Forrest Gump. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, which was requested again by a viewer. Yeah. Um, so he's all like, "Hi, so our slow-witted southern orc." So, um, <laughs> I was, and uh, so he said that there was something down st- uh, downstairs mm. that is that you could go to, that and maybe the that that's where the water go. comes from. <laughs> and uh, he, you guys, convinced him to give you the keys. Yeah, I said, "Don't worry." He's like, I'm about to get in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I don't want to die. So, and, um, yeah, so I was like, don't worry, I will get you the keys back. My friend, awesome, thanks. Mm-hmm. Thanks for looking out for me. And uh, I took the keys from him, went downstairs with uh, the marked one, Adatilm as the marked one. And then uh, we found what we found. You guys found a uh, these... Two pylons that were crackling with lightning, holding and shackling with magical energy a water elemental. Yeah. Every time it cracked and hissed, the elemental would make a hissing sound and would, instead of being in its human form, it would uh, like morph into a sort of like a three dimensional puddle. I kept explaining it as so, like this big. Uh, oscillating blob of water yeah. and then it would crack back into its humanoid form um, and then it would hiss in pain and then it would bleed water into a trough and the trough would drain into this pipe and there was some sort of coolant valve system that pumped it through the rest of the house. So and at this point Adotiln or Adot- Adotiln yeah, had, yeah. A, had a reaction that I, I had no idea uh, why, Adotiln but. took this very personally and was very because uh, it involved magical liquids and that's pretty much all of his uh, yeah as an alchemist his, him as an alchemist that's what he studies so he's so he's like very this can't this is too much uh, he's seen a lot but this is terrible um, and he's it's definitely striking a chord within Adeltil because it's almost like it's a, it's it's a gift when he gets this kind mm-hmm. of stuff and he can use it he's definitely yeah. a social um, a sociopath yeah um, Adeltil and then but as soon as um, but as soon as he sees this it just kind of he clicks back into this somber or this mm-hmm. uh, yeah but in ter- yeah in terms of his yeah. motivation of, mm-hmm. of, of why that's affecting him it's like some sort of maybe some alchemist code of like almost like recycling you know you exactly. have to treat your your product 
Yep. With uh, <clears throat> with respect. Yep, and so then... And, of course, uh, Rokon has no idea. He's just like, that thing's cool. Yeah, and it's... What's uh, going on? <laughs> yeah, and it's so it's glowing, it's crackling. Uh, Adotiln, uh, it actually starts whispering, Kill me. Kill me. It also says... Uh, it also curses at the human race, how it hates humans, they're all worms, and how dare life... Uh, such a curse it was for an elemental to be... Uh, to be on this plane for its blood, giving life to everything. Yeah, everything is a parasite to it. So that Rokan kind of agrees with that. Yeah, humans suck. You're right. Okay, you want to mm -hmm. die, and so he just tries to put him out of his misery. He takes out his um, his his rapier, which is now encoded with uh, frost damage, um, and so he just kind of slides, slides it in. Slides it right in to see what it does, and then it starts to like freeze a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and you drew it out, and it and yeah, it and, and shot out and it out, it yeah. kind of pulled out a uh, an icicle. And watching the icicle freeze, uh, that infuriated it. So it got mad. The yeah. lightning crackled more, and then again another explosion of mist su uh, surrounded the room uh, from Adotiln, yeah, that was and dispersing a lot of the electricity. So um, what seemed to be a good idea wasn't, because then now the monster was free. So the monster is attacking Adotiln and. Uh, broke on, and then uh, about half yeah, through the battle, too, because he yeah. was trying to talk. Um, Adatilin was trying to talk to him and just say, "Hey, you're cool now, like everything," mm -hmm. but he was just irrationally out for blood. Exactly. So uh, Adatilin finds his way towards uh, you. You, I think, oh, this is before you guys moved a barrel to the door to block it off. Uh, yeah, Adatilin goes yeah, back towards the barrels. Barrel. And he shoots uh, lightning to try to break the uh, pylons. Mm -hmm. The pylons crack, but they don't break. Uh, you've broken one of them, I think. The other one activates. Yeah, I the shot one with my crossbow. The electricity brings it back and starts. Uh, it starts restraining the elemental. The elemental then does die by your hands. Uh, yeah, I eventually. I, after I think the, what what eventually killed it was I. Um, I just charged right into it uh -huh. with the sword, like head first. Yeah. And I uh, stuck it in, and then as the sword's frozen, I kind of just crashed through it. Yeah. And then uh, that that did the most damage, and then I eventually just destroyed it that because it kept getting smaller and smaller yeah. as I was doing more damage to it. And eventually, I just like it, as it froze, I just crashed right through it. Yep. So from there, uh, the door opens to the cellar. Uh, Ad or, or um, Creighton and the whole party. Uh, come running downstairs. Creighton is leading the charge. Uh, at this point, Adeltiln throws another fog a fog bottle and mm. fills the room. Uh, Creighton is then, everybody can't see anything. The only people who could see are Rokan and Adeltiln because they have advantage. Yeah. Adeltiln uh, tries to use a lightning bolt, fails, and can see, uh, goes into a credible rage. Oh yeah, uh, and then <coughs> of that, yeah. you knocked out Creighton. Yeah, before anything could happen, I saw Creighton walk in first and just thunk, knocked mm -hmm. him out. And so there he goes; he's out of the picture. He's knocked out, and then, uh, like and then you people. left. Uh, no, then I <laughs> I killed Danny Devino. Oh yeah, yeah, you walked up to Danward Devino, <laughs> Danward uh, <laughs> Devini, and uh, and uh, yeah, because he he started shouting, and um, I forgot why. Anyway. He killed him. I killed him. He did I something. Just, yeah, I slit his throat and then, <laughs> and then uh, ran away. Yep, and then you ran off. Well, I think it's because I accidentally bumped into him. Oh, yeah. And uh, lest he scream out, Hey, I see him! I just oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you stabbed him. Uh, he died, and then uh, you left. Adotil is downstairs in his rage. Rage, that's right. Uh, he opens up another bottle of lightning, killing everybody but one guard. One guard, and he fight. Uh, horribly back and forth uh, until Adeltiln is at one health. Mm -hmm. uh, bloody bleeding, he evades out of the way from its hammer strike or its uh, sword strike, and then he runs up the stairs. Mm -hmm. He runs up the stairs and sees Rokan closing the eyes of the dead, uh, fear-stricken orc that they have just uh, befriended. Uh, this episode ends with you guys jumping out of the window and sliding down uh, a hill into some underbrush, uh, and that's where we left it, and so you guys are now on the run from the 
enemy, which is now Hugh, I guess, yeah. um, are on the run from the guards. 